right, guys, this video is just a short little clip on how to gain more square drive or key drive sticking out of your dynamic cable. Um, so first thing you're going to need if you're in the field is a pair of vice grips and a 19 millimeter wrench. If you're at your home shop and you have a vise, you can also put this piece into the vise. As you can see, there's three shims here on the end of this nipple part that's on your cable. There's one, two, three of them. Depending how many of those you take off, we'll, tell, we'll be able to see how much cable or square drive you need to stick out. So first thing you're going to do is clamp your vise grips on the end here. And you're going to take your 19 millimeter wrench and you're just going to spin this piece off. Sometimes it takes a little bit. This one already broke free just for the video here. But sometimes there's Loctite on here and it takes a little bit to break it loose. You're going to screw this off. Take it off and that's going to expose this. Then you can just remove how many nip or spacers you need and then put your nipple back on and I'll show you here that it gives you a lot more cables sticking out of the end here so I took two spacers off but you could take more if you needed to but this piece here sometimes it can give you a little bit of trouble putting it back on but usually it's pretty easy And then as you can see, you have way more extra square drive sticking out now. And there's only one spacer there. And then to, that's pretty much it. If you don't like how much is sticking out, you can put one of the spacers back. Take the nipple back off, put one of the spacers back. Um, but most of the time, should be good to go. Thanks, guys.